live from Philadelphia's Franklin Field. It's the ECAC Division III Football Fest, the President's Bowl, presented by Ed and D Sports, the Washington and Jefferson Presidents against the College of Brockport Golden Eagles. Plenty of time on the play clock. Takes the snap, rolls right. Races towards the sideline, getting near the corner of the end zone. He tumbles his hand. Let's see. Touchdown. Pete Coughlin runs for his seventh touchdown of the season. And the Presidents take a 6-3 lead. From the 11, German Ariel rolls right, changes direction, dumps it off. Dan Andrews out near the sideline, beats a man into the end zone. Touchdown. Dan Andrews brings it in. His fourth receiving touchdown of the year in Brockport up 9-7. First and 10 from the 47, movement on the line. German Ariel hands it off. It's Dan Andrews. Has a lane, headed towards the end zone. It's a race. He's in. Touchdown, Brockport. The move he put on that defender in space is epic. Second and goal spread formation. Conklin calls for it, takes the snap. Looks right, tosses it, back corner, wide open, has a man, touchdown! Jesse Zubik, his 17th touchdown reception. And Washington and Jefferson back in at President's Trail, 17-13. Option right, Dan Andrews tosses it, has a man wide open, down the right sideline, it's caught! Walking right into the end zone for the touchdown is Ian Gilhausen for the Golden Eagles, what a play! And new life for Washington and Jefferson, who trails 24-13. Quick pass off the back foot, juggled up in the air, intercepted by the Golden That's Eagles. Intercepted. Jake O'Connell down the left sideline, off the deflection in traffic, has a block, dives towards the pylon, Jake touchdown of pick six. Jake O'Connell off the deflection, and Brockport goes up 30-13. This a one-score game. Conklin takes the snap, here comes pressure, looks left, throws left, has a man, wide open, touchdown! Jesse Zubik, his second of the night. Make something happen in this crucial part of the game. First and goal from the three. Conklin races out of the pocket, has daylight, fires it, back in the end zone, touchdown! Jake Cullen. And now Washington and Jefferson needs a two-point conversion to tie. They trail 31-29. Conklin. And Washington and Jefferson going for two. Rolls out. Off the back foot. Has a man caught. And we're tied. Threw it right to David Kincaid. Nobody near him. And we're locked up at 31 with 148 left. Zone 37. Pressure coming. German Ariel under duress. Throws it. It's intercepted by the president. It's a bad turnover for Brockport. O'Shea Anderson with the interception. And Washington and Jefferson. Gets it back, a chance to win the game with 53 seconds left. With 25 seconds left, two timeouts for Washington and Jefferson. Conklin forced out of the pocket, racing towards the right sideline, off the back foot, has a man wide open, catches me, touchdown! And the Presidents take the lead! Brockport down by seven. German Ario. Fights out of traffic, stays on his feet, taking a lot of time, throws a bomb downfield. Catch made by Brockport, but well shy of the end zone, down at the nine-yard line. It was Ian Gilhausen, and the Washington and Jefferson presidents have won this ball game. 25 unanswered points down 31-13. Washington and Jefferson wins 38-31. Joining me now are the MVP and winning head coach of the President's Bowl here at the 2016 ECAC D3 Football Fest, the Washington and Jefferson Presidents. What a comeback win. Coach Sariani, you said to me ahead of the second half, you guys needed to make a play, and I think you made more than one. Yeah, we, our kids, I mean, they're so resilient. I just, that's four times we've been trailing at the half. Um, three times we've been trailing with over half the fourth quarters left and they come back and won um, every time and, and this one was the best because this was against the best team so I'm just so proud of them the seniors okay everyone part of the program the ECAC this is such a great venue and it's they do such a great job and you, you treat it was you treated like a bowl game we had such a great time and obviously the win <laughs> excuse me even makes it even sweeter talk a little bit more about that experience if you would to uh, for such a storied program that has played at Franklin Field before over a century ago to come 
come back here and go home with a trophy. Can you elaborate on what that means for your program, one of the most stored in Division Three? Oh, yeah, it's first of all, it's a, it's a privilege to coach and to play, as, as I think Pete would tell you, in a program like WNJ with so much tradition from, you know, the, the 19, you know, it goes all the way back to the 1922 Rose Bowl. Um, it's just, it's a, such a privilege. And to come back here where they've played before with all the great games that have been on this field, you know, you kind of get chills. Okay, walking out here, this is such a great venue. And like I said, I'm proud of the kids and proud, just proud of, I'm trying looking at it, I won't get dumped with the water again, and proud to uh, just be part of a WNJ College Presidents. It's a great place to, to coach and we have just great kids. And they're just great kids. Coach, congratulations once more. Let's move on to the MVP of today's game, Pete Coglin. What a performance. Congrats to you on the MVP award. Did not get off to the best start in this game for the Presidents. Field goal, touchdown, touchdown, touchdown. But from there on, you guys really stiffened. Did not give the Eagles that much. On the offensive side of the ball, what were you saying to your guys in the huddle to keep them believing and keep them in the game getting late? I mean, I thought uh, even in the first half, we were moving the ball very well. Um, it was just uh, bad mistakes by me, forcing the ball when I shouldn't be or underthrowing uh, Jesse on the outside. And then um, I was like, we were moving the ball, so we just had to keep what we were doing, keeping our, ri keeping our rhythm and uh, just fight till the end, and that's what we did. What was the message to your group in the huddle as you start that last drive? What were you saying to your guys as you were co coming out for what could have been the last drive of the season? Um, I, I didn't really say anything. Uh, like Coach said, we've been there before. We've been in that position. We've had drives where we needed a score to keep the game going, and uh, that's what we did. Um, and then uh, the two-point conversion was huge. I said something and not play. But, uh, yeah, it was, it was awesome. All right, it sounds like your teammates want you to get back to the celebrations. Pete Coughlin, the MVP of the 2016 President's Bowl. Congratulations again, and congratulations to the Washington and Jefferson Presidents. Guys.